Hello and welcome to episode 10 of The Naked Analyst. And today I'm posing the question, do you know what is bigger than big data? Because I believe I've seen a glimpse of what that is. And for me, it's the appification of analytics. What I mean by that, I mean the reduction of what have traditionally been complex analytic tasks to a single button on an interface, just like an app is a single button on your smartphone. That's uh, what it looks like. What it means is that analytic tasks executed by people who don't fully understand the how of how it works, but they do understand the why and when they need to do it. So it's, a, if you like, a democratization of analytic activities. And it's possible because of three things. The first of these is the increase in number and sophistication of the APIs that are available out there. The second is the rise of open source projects like R, uh, because uh, R is creating vast libraries of specialist algorithms that uh, anyone who knows R can call upon. And the third enabling uh, technology is that um, if you can get communities like R working together, 50,000 people working on the same open source project, then it's not an a hard leap to move from 50,000 to 10 million and that's where appification is having a democratizing effect and opening up analytic activities to a wider business audience people like marketers um, researchers that sort of thing and uh, you know all of that is supposition but uh, I believe there is already a glimpse publicly available of the end game and they are what I call analytic marketplaces or algorithm marketplaces is maybe more accurate. I've got four of these to, to point you to this week. Uh, number one is Data Zoo, a um, bunch of MIT um, scientists and others from NASA who have been around for a while and they do marketing analytics and they've been um, players in establishing the Open RTB consortium and such like. Um, the second is algorithms.io and this is machine learning for streaming data. And it's a platform, but it's cloud-based and much more accessible than many other platforms. Um, the third one is Snap Analytics. And this is a true open marketplace for predictive um, algorithms. Uh, take a look at it. They don't have many, but they're growing uh, week by week. And the fourth and the one that represents the thing closest to my vision of what algorithm markets will be in the future is Algorithmia. And this is an open marketplace for algorithms. Simple as that. Again, uh, they don't have thousands of algorithms, but they're starting with a small number. It's open for people to submit whatever algorithms they want to it. And I believe uh, that something like Algorithmia is the thing that will um, emerge into the mainstream and uh, dominate the markets in the future. Okay, well, that's uh, um, Algorithm Markets. But there's still big challenge remaining, and I don't know what the answer is, but the big challenge is linking these apps. You know, analytic activities involve sophisticated conversations with complex data sets. It's not just one f data field in and one data field out. So uh, I don't quite know what the solution to that is yet, uh, but the person that solves that problem uh, will become a very rich person indeed. And, uh, uh, and I believe that person is already out there probably working on that problem. I just don't know about it yet. So um, that's what's bigger than uh, big data. It's algorithm markets. Um, take a look at the sites I've mentioned and start imagining what the future will be like if, uh, if algorithms that are useful to your business emerge. That's the Naked Analyst for uh, today. Until next time, goodbye.